Well, the day has arrived when uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to steam the engine. Um, it's run on compressed air before and everything's, uh, the valve gear is working okay. I've had the boiler hydraulically tested, it's a brand spanking new boiler, never been steamed. Our society, um, boiler inspector passed everything okay and signed it off. So I'm hoping I'm going to get to steam up. I hope there's no problem, but usually there's always some leak somewhere or uh, it never never ever goes uh, straight forward with a steam engine. So what I'm going to do now is get it outside, fill the side tanks, fill the boiler, get some um, boiler treatment into it and get a file it and uh, see what happens. Well the boiler is uh, filled up with water now and uh, I'm going to add some uh, boiler water treatment. I'm going to use this boiler water treatment which I got from Blackgates Engineering. I believe it's tannin based, not too sure. Uh, I've been recommended to use uh, an egg cup full of this treatment to start with. Um, I want to try this, but I really need to find out some more information before I add any more on future steamings. I've now uh, added the boiler water treatment and uh, it's slightly discoloured the, uh, the the water in the boiler. Not by much, but uh, you can see it. Uh, we'll see how it goes with uh, with the, st the steaming. Of the six uh, steam engines I have built over the past 40 years, the first fire has always been uh, lit by my good lady. And uh, I'm still going to carry on this tradition. Here yeah, she's standing there waiting patiently for the, uh, for the light up. I think my, uh, my blow could give us some uh, attention, it's, uh, it's rather noisy. Incidentally, my, uh, my wife's always enjoyed uh, anything to do with steam, and uh, she's always enjoyed driving my uh, locals, especially the, uh, the Romulus type. The previous Romulus I had before this, uh, she drove many, many miles on it, and always enjoyed herself. Uh, my two daughters uh, are the same, they've always uh, enjoyed driving uh, steam engines. Now we've got steam up, it's approaching uh, blowing off time. Just hope the uh, safety valves can go up okay, which I'm sure they can. Well, my youngest uh, granddaughter appeared Again. and uh, it necessitated uh, a temporary lever for the uh, whistle, which in retrospect wasn't a good idea because uh, I accidentally knocked the whistle off undoing the string. The blower was uh, performing well, I wasn't really sure whether I'd got it in the uh, correct position but uh, it was drawing the fire okay. I didn't have it on uh, too strong at this stage. I really wanted to get the safety valves uh, checked out first and make sure that they were uh, clearing the uh, boiler pressure. These are the Holmes type pop safety valves which uh, I described uh, manufacturing in one of my previous videos.
blowing off uh, just short of 90 pounds per square inch, which at the moment it will do. The working pressure is actually 90 pounds. These safety valves are the uh, the ones based on the late Jim Ewing modification, which appeared in the uh, early edition of Engineering in Miniature. They don't use a ball, they use a flat valve on a knife edge comb and they're, they're, they're quite good. I've used them previously on uh, on my other Romulus and uh, they were very effective. Uh, at least one injector is working okay. It's like water valve not working. And the steam valve is uh, is also stuck stuck open. Here's my trainee fireman learning how to put coal in the firebox. She says she wants her own shovel, so look like uh, a new project, new shovel to be completed. Well, for the first steam up, it didn't do too bad. The safety valves are okay and everything. Uh, it's just a pity that the large injector uh, failed to function due to the steam valve sticking and the uh, water valve not opening but otherwise uh, not, uh, not all that bad the minor problem with the uh, gauge glass uh, that that be only a two minute job to suit to sort out I don't think anything ever goes straight forward on the first steam up I would like to have chopped it up and run the valve gear on the steam but unfortunately uh, circumstances prevented that the next steam up I shall uh, I shall do that it run under compressed air without any problem so I can't see any problem running on the steam I'm just blowing down the boiler now I let the pressure drop to about 30 pound before I uh, open the uh, valve open the blow down valve Well, quite pleased with that and uh, get it back into the workshop and uh, rectify the faults and then uh, give it a second steam up. I hope you found this interesting and, uh, and thanks for watching.